Oh, nice defending again. No vase. Castro, Paulinho. Look at the one-touch football. Sequeira inside the box now. He's holding it up, looking to work the ball into. Paulinho is five. Total football at his best. Oh my god. Hello people, welcome back and how are you guys doing? It is RDF from FM Scout and today we have a very, very good tactic to look at. It was created by an author called Speaking of Nirvana. He uploaded this on the FM Scout website. So of course, if you want your tactic to be checked out somehow, then make sure you upload on FM Scout. But in this video, we are going to be looking at a very nice footballing system. It is inspired by the total football Ajax system and this tactic is a 3-4-3 with no wing backs so it's just three defenders and then you have your four midfielders and three attackers this is a very good tactic it plays really really nice football well really sexy football I should say some of the football was absolutely excellent and it's going to be a pleasure to show you guys this tactic but before I do if you haven't yet or you are new make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the like button and make sure you comment in the comment section below without the further hold up let's get started this tactic was created by speaking of naverna he is a tactic author over on the fm scout website so what i'm going to do now is give you a little brief description of the tactic before we dive in to the fm tactic itself this tactic is designed to be very wide so the ball can be worked into the box from all angles. The wings were attacked perfectly and pretty much every goal started from the wide position. In the typical total football system, when the libero pushed forward a solo centre back would be left behind who acted as sort of a sweeper and the two full backs would support down the flanks. In this version, he had the two centre backs sitting wider to give the wings extra support therefore actually leaving the centre exposed if the libero pushed forward. This was a huge problem at first but by changing the defensive width to force opposition outside that managed to fix the problem a little as the two centre backs would drop slightly and move back into the centre. Fortunately the counter press was so excellent that we were rarely ever counter attacked. In possession you would notice this team forms plenty of triangles. There are going to be triangles around the pitch but also in the middle of the pitch there would be a diamond shape. The diamond shape will consist of the libero on the attack duty, the Roman playmaker, the central midfielder, so the two central midfielders, and then the full nine, the striker up top, as he will look to drop deep and help out in midfield. This diamond helps very, very well in keeping possession. There will be the main diamond, and around that diamond, we have plenty, plenty of triangles, which helps with the possession. In defence, most conceded goals would be down to far strikers getting around the centre backs which there isn't really much you can do about in this system. The wide players were set to mark any wingers so they drop back and help defend if they were on the back foot. In central midfield, both centre midfields will be absolute injures. They will press and press non-stop but rather winning the ball back in central of the midfield, the two central midfields ended up pushing the opposition out wide where the wide players would also help win the ball back. If you do use this tactic, it is recommended that you keep these wide players as wingbacks. Do not change them to inverted wingbacks. The pressing is very, very good against the larger teams. The author of the tactic managed to beat Paris Saint-Germain as Ajax in the group stage and also be in Chelsea 5-1. Me, I managed to beat Porto, I managed to beat Benfica in the league which I managed in which was Portugal and I was Braga so not the best team in the league, they are expected to finish 4th. The inverted wingers are made sure that they are staying wider really to make it tough for the opponents on the flanks. When they do cut in, the aim is to link up with the striker and play the little nice one-twos quick interchanging passes in and around the box. The front three for the original creator managed to score 80 goals and assisted 59 in all competitions between them. The attack was absolutely outstanding and I can vouch for that, which we will see when we check the results. 
This tactic is very possession based. I ended up with the most possession in the league, so spoiler alert. <laughs> The aim was to build a possession based tactic, a successful one and one that scores goals and that is exactly what we are going to get. So that was the tactic described, we are now going to look at the tactic in Football Manager 2021. So here we are, the 3-4-3. Three, three. As you can see, it has three centre-backs, four midfielders, two attacking wingers and then the one striker. In goal, we do have the sweeper-keeper on defend. He has no instructions to him. He's going to be the sweeper-keeper looking to stay in and around on the edge of his own box. And of course, when he has the ball, he is going to be looking to play it out of defence. In the defence, we have two ball-playing defenders on either side of the libero. The ball-playing defenders are on the cover duty and their instruction is to stay wider. For the libero in the central of defence, he is on attack and his instruction is to close down less. Of course, we do not want to be exposed too often in the central defence area. In midfield, the two flank players are wide midfielders. Their instructions are to run wide with the ball so that can stretch the opposition. Roam from position, this can help with possession. Sit narrower again, another instruction that can help with possession. Close down more and mark specific position. When you are marking specific positions, you do want to mark the player that is on the wing. So if the opponent is playing the attacking midfielder as the AMR, then you want to mark that. But if he is the MR, then again, you might want to mark the MR. So make sure you check the opponent's tactic. In central midfield, we have a Roman playmaker who is on the support duty. He is going to be key in this tactic. His instruction is to close down more. And then we have the central midfielder right next to him. He is also going to be an engine. He has closed down more and also roam from position, helping with possession. In the attacking midfield flanks, we do have two inverted wingers on the attack duty. Their instructions are to take more risk, stay wider and close down more. And then finally up top we do have the full nine and he is simply asked to roam from his position. Those are the player roles, duties and instructions. For the team instructions the mentality is on positive. A positive mentality will aim to knock the ball about the pitch. Of course you are expecting to have some possession. The attacking width is all the way to wide, extremely wide. We want to stretch the pitch and make it wide as possible. Approach play there is pass into space, there is also play out of defence. The passing directness is on much shorter so the aim is to retain the possession with the tempo on slightly lower. In the final third this tactic aims to work the ball into the box and also be more expressive asking players to do things outside the tactical setup. In transition, when the possession has been lost, we are going to be counter-pressing the opponents. We are, ex we are going to be relying on the players' duties and roles and the instructions to determine what the players act like when we have one possession of the ball. So, for example, the inverted winger, he is going to be looking to get further forward when the possession has been won. Soon as your team is on the ball, your players are on the ball, then the players that are instructed to get further forward are the players that are going to be getting forward. When the goalkeeper is in possession, he is asked to distribute it quickly and the distribution type is on roll it out. Out of possession, the line of engagement is on standard, so... You can see where the players are positioned, we are actually positioned still fairly high so the line of engagement is still going to be fairly high with the much higher defence line. The defensive width is on force opposition out wide so it is on narrow and the tackling we are going to be staying on our feet but when it comes to the pressing intensity we are going to be leaving that on the full that comes with the mentality so it's going to be on slightly more urgent. But that is the tactic covered now. Let's look at the juicy stuff. Let's look at the results. Now, as you can see, Braga, they won the league. But not just the league that we won, we also won the Allianz Cup. In the final, we managed to beat, if I can go to it, yep, we managed to beat Morienze. We beat them 3 2 in the final. But in the league or Liga, we managed to win the league. We played 34 games, winning 30 of those. That is an incredible win percentage. So we drew none, but we'd managed to lose four games. We scored 83 goals, which is the most in the league. And we conceded 31, which isn't the worst defence in the league. It's the worst defence when you are comparing it with the top four in the league. And we are 
predicted to finish in the top four but we are not too concerned because 31 goals conceded is still very strong and our goal difference at the end was on plus 52. These are some of the stats that we are more interested in. Now, similar to the creator of this tactic, he got 60% with Ajax, I am Braga, and I still managed to get 59 average percent of the ball. That is absolutely incredible, and it's nice to know possession tactics are working. When it comes to the goals, you can see we scored the most goals with 83. We had the highest goals per game, and also the highest expected goals for, with 68.68. .68. You can see that when it comes to crosses completed, we didn't really attempt many crosses because we are trying to keep the ball on the floor and work our way into the box. So our crossing completion and our crossing statistics aren't going to be great. What is going to be great is our passes completed. We managed to complete 15,339 passes, which was the most in the league. We also had the third best pass completion and maybe we could have had a better one if we had some better quality players when it comes to clear-cut chances created, we came third creating 22 clear-cut chances. In defence, we had the fourth best defence in the league, but we also managed to keep the second most clean sheets in the league. I noticed that when we did lose, it was never a tight game. When we did lose, we did lose by a big margin. When we check our team report now, this is probably the best attacking efficiency I have seen or I have achieved. Now we have aggressive and clinical but it is all the way nearly in the top right corner. That's almost the highest that it could possibly be. So that is very excellent attacking efficiency. Our general performance, we were the best team in the league and this will reflect on that. Most of our stuff, especially when it comes to shots and goals are off the charts. Now our defensive efficiency wasn't too bad either. You can say that Porto is probably the only team that had a better defence efficiency but considering Porto are a better team than us then that is something that we can easily accept. We also want to see some squad stats as you can see we have 3 players that have scored 20 or more. Incredible! Paulinho scored 22, Galeno scored 21 and so did Ricardo Horta. When it comes to assist, you can see three players also assisted 12. That was Galino, Horta and Fran Sergio, who was our Roman playmaker. But checking back on goals, you can see that Victor Gabriel managed to score 15 as the full nine. Abel Ruiz, who was used as a winger and full nine, managed to score 14, with Andre Horta managed to score 10. When we look at the fixtures, we started very, very well. Our first loss came away to Sporting. We also lost against Boa Vista, losing to Porto. And if you see, we, we lost 3-0 against Sporting, 2-0 against Boa Vista, 4-1 against Porto and 2-0 against Sporting. In the Europa League, we managed to lose 4-1 against AC Milan. We also lost 4-0 in the cup against Maritimo. So you can see that when we do lose, it's usually a big margin. And lastly, you will see when it comes to the average rating in the league, our defenders were absolute rocks. Three of our centre-backs were the highest average rated players. Unheard of. But you can see our left mid is there, another centre-back is there, our Roman playmaker is the 10th highest average rated player in the league. But that is it for this fantastic tactic thank you guys for watching thank you guys for being patient make sure you download this tactic it is absolutely incredible if you are new or you haven't yet hit the like button hit the subscribe button and drop a comment down below it has been rdf it has been a pleasure i will see you soon and stay safe